Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot. And in this whole video, we're going to look into uh, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and also uh, Taurus Rising Weekly General Tarot Reading, October 18th up until October 24th, uh, 2021. And uh, should you be guys uh, interested in a personal reading with me, or uh, if you do want to take my tarot classes, Checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website where you can view and purchase either or both of these services. And as well, uh, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and you do wish to support us, just leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads. So with that being set aside, moving straight away to your reading, Taurus, and the very first card you do have, guys, that is going to be the Chariot. Can you see the card? Yeah, all right. Followed by the second one here, which stands as the Four of Wands. Uh, moving next, we do have the Three of Swords. Followed by uh, the Strength card. And uh, the last one that we do have for you, uh, that will be the Seven of Pentacles. So, uh, this, uh, this week is going to start quite explosively for you, Taurus. And it seems that you are going to really give it a... a quite hard push um like truly determined actions and uh strong convictions are going to support your your doings in general and without a doubt it does look like that you are gonna get it your way uh but afterwards it seems that there are gonna be some not decisions but a um what was the word doubts after that, you may kind of like plummet into some doubts. Have you done the right thing, you know, or what are going to be the consequences of your actions? Some third uh, third party activities may also be at place there, like some kind of a new revelations, information, truths. We're going to look into it more closely when I get to that. But the second part of the week is more personal rather than exterior where you are to place actions. The second part of the week it is where you are to contemplate of the righteousness of your actions and uh, have you done the right thing you know and how much in generally you are going to win should you keep up the pace as you are keeping up the pace right now so uh, starting up the week here with the chariot card the chariot pretty much stands as win against or rather like triumph against all odds and it's a clear sign that you are going to enjoy the look of your hard work you're going to triumph okay and you are going to be rather quite proud at that specific time frame with uh, with your accomplishments and with your achievements now here at this stage of the week which is the very start of the week you're going to have a strong determination and iron will to do what it takes in order to pretty much accomplish your goal and accomplish your um you know your your aim so to speak and that could be a bit i can't really say dangerous i can't find the right word in english but I would try to explain it that way, um, especially when it comes to personal interactions and especially when it comes to uh, dating with, with somebody else. Here with the chariot, because um, you are to be determined to have it at all costs uh, and to triumph against all odds, uh, you may throw yourself prematurely into a commitment which doesn't necessarily has to be a bad thing it just may uh, make you undergo some unpleasant aspects that you truly didn't have to if you took your time to get to know the other person better so here while you do have the immense power to have it your way just be mindful you know of how how hard you push forward and don't go for anything that you wouldn't be proud of when you look back of what you had to do against of what you are going to gain at the end and right after this determinate push you get the rewards or you are to reap the rewards of it with the with the four of a ones and four of ones here speaks about the accomplishments and about the finalization of these important cycles of development 
that you have tried to push. The Four of Wands could uh, relate uh, to the closure of a very important deal, could relate uh, to uh, finally getting the promotion you deserve, uh, it could relate as well to engagement, it could relate as well to a commitment into a relationship, whatever you are aiming to close, it seems that you are to close it at the very first portion of the week. Now, the beauty of the Four of Wands as well, it is that the closure happens uh, under the circumstances that any important matters that had to be attended, they were attended. So you left nothing um, to slip by, nothing important that is, to slip by and nothing that can cause a problems moving forward uh, into the future. Now, that stage of the week, you can expect to be at the at the peak of it, rather like um, to, to feel like you are on the top of the world. And it will be a good uh, it will be a good attitude from your behalf if you do take your time at that uh, at that stage of the week to think about um, how you can up your game going into the next level because this is what we are talking about here you are to move to the next level with whatever you are doing at the start of the week itself and right after that the three of swords takes place here the three of swords and uh, with the three of swords at the middle of the week uh that card could relate to many things, okay? Um, you can look at it into some books where you can face or you can read that that is kind of like an affair, for example, uh, that, that that is something that is going to break your heart, you know, some kind of a circumstances that is going to break your car, heart, betrayal, and so on and so forth. All of this may be true, but the bottom line with the Three of Swords, it is that your thoughts are what makes you feel hurt. Your thoughts are damaging your emotions. Uh, just like within the cards, we do have three swords pier piercing the heart and the swords are the elements of air, which is our mind. So our mind is piercing our heart. Now the, um, whatever comes your way at that stage of the week, it's true. For example, if you come to know that you that you have been cheated upon then that's true okay if you happen to know that you are going to get fired that's also going to be true if it happens if you do happen to know that uh, you know a friend of yours uh, it's betraying you that's true but the thing it is that with the three of swords that's the worst that can happen and uh, the best way to overcome the the sadness really and the sorrow from the three of swords just to live through it that there is no fixing it another way that the three of swords may play out in your environment is through a mental cruelty like being insulted you know uh like being uh, smothered beneath uh someone else's toe um like being, uh, how can I say, uh, being constantly underestimated, you know, the things that you don't deserve have been said to you, and that truly kind of like um, damages not just only your ego, but as well, uh, generally, you are going to feel insulted. And in the physical world, the tree of swords may play out like making one step forward and feeling like you now have to backtrack two steps backward. Now, the positive aspect of the Tree of Swords it is that the worse the situation is, the better performance one is going to do uh, under its influence. So, uh, the worse the situation is for you, the better the results are going to be at the end. And once you do go through that time of either digesting a re really painful truth or you just have to stand and take it when it comes to insults you know or you have to face a crisis in the material world where you do make one step forward and then you have to back backtrack to step backward so you can fix something uh the strength card plays out for you and uh, that is the moment where you do find the correct measures especially with the with the first couple of uh, manifestations of the tree of swords the insult or the truth okay 
to deal with the situation because the strength card it is when you now have the awareness how much aggression how much passion or how much indifference so to speak to uh, to exert into the situation so you can overcome its its plight so you can overcome its predicament and uh, here you will have a full control of the of your beast within and while the whole situation may feel like you are climbing um a, a, a mountain so to speak and even though that climate doesn't make any sense to anybody around you uh, friends of yours may be baffled you know why you are even doing this okay your family may be concerned about you why you are involving yourself into that situation you will know you will know that it is worth it you will know that once you do climb on the top of this mountain it will worth it because we when you do survey the vista that unfolds in front of you you are to see the rewards that you are to uh, that you are to reap uh, now with the strength card you will have a very strong self conviction to push forward that you have done the right thing okay no matter what is happening around you here with the tree of swords and that you will persevere no matter what and at that stage of the week um how can I place it? You will feel no obliged to constantly explain yourself in front of anybody for, like I said, you will first of all start believing that your actions are going to speak louder than words and the second uh, reason for why you are not going to explain to anybody is so you are convinced that once again you are doing the right thing and at the end of the week the seven of pentacles uh, truly plays out for you and with this card I think the manifestation of it, it is where a very important event is going to start lurking behind the corner. That event is going to allow you to, as you have, uh, how can I say, are exerting the correct inner measures into your situation, like passion, uh, <clears throat> like enthusiasm or indifference. Here with the seven of pentacles, now you will have the chance to exert the correct physical measures okay or rather like when that event happens you will be able to um invest just as much as you are going to gain from it and so the result of all that it is a total balance so to summarize all that at the start of the week uh you are to like i said go for something very very big i believe that you are a bit unprepared for it and for it you will have to face that truth of lack of preparedness but instead of you know crumbling and crashing down uh under its weight you are going to pick up yourself together and you are going to be able to stabilize by the end of the week and the triumph for you is going to be complete so with that being said taurus this was your weekly general tarot reading for october 18th up until october 24th 2021 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it guys and we are to see each other next time until then bye